I thought I'd go ahead and film a small haul for you guys today and then also you guys have been asking for like vlog footage and to show some horses and we've got some new babies on the ground so I'm going to go ahead and take the vlog camera out and show you guys some of the new colts that we have. I haven't really filmed this week because of my eye. I was hoping that it would get better and it's been almost a week and it's still it's still pretty red. Um, when I Right when I was done filming that Sayate, the eyeshadow palettes video, I had went outside and me and my mom were cleaning up some horses. Their manes and tails were just coated with cockleburs and we were working on getting them out and so that their manes and tails were all nice. And these like these little burrs, when you comb them out, they kind of break up into particles and there's like seeds inside and little like um, fine pieces of um, spiky things. I had my sunglasses on, I had my hat on, everything, but a breeze just came along and it just blew just right underneath my sunglasses and got some burr of the cockleburr in my eye and I knew instantly, I was like, oh my gosh, I put my stuff down and I went to the house and I flushed and flushed and flushed my eye out and I had thought that I had gotten everything out of my eye but I had kind of irritated it so much I wasn't quite sure because when I blinked it felt like there was something there but it was still kind of irritated and by then uh, it was too late to go to the eye doctor. It was too late in the evening. By the time I was getting ready to go to bed I knew that there was still a piece of something in my eye and so I didn't sleep at all. It was horrendous. Like every time I moved my eyeball with my eyes closed or open you could just like it was just scratching on my eye. I was lucky that the the um, thing wasn't like right over my cornea, it was more um, on this portion so it was going on the white part of my eye instead of like the, the center. Cause I, I had that happen once too, nightmare. <laughs> anyway, as soon as I could I headed to town and went to the eye doctor. He flipped my eyelid open, grabbed the tweezers and plucked it out and it was sure enough there it was hooked in my upper eyelid right up here. So he got it out but by the time I had gotten it out it had scraped so much on the outer portion of my eye that it broke a blood vessel. It's kind of like a, um, a hematoma I guess and it's been about a week <laughs> and I can see that the blood is starting to break up and it's gotten quite a bit light, lighter than it was a couple days ago but that's what it is. I'm just gonna have to wait it out. It could be like anywhere from two to three weeks before it's gone. I'm like, well, I, my owl pile though is like building up. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do a little haul this time and like show you guys some, some of the babies and then hopefully it'll be a little bit better in a couple days or so. I know it is quite unsightly. <laughs> so, but hopefully you guys don't mind. So let's get into some of the makeup. I purchased one of the Shantikai Mermaid Eye Colors. This is from their, I think their summer collection. And I think this is also a new product from Shantikai. I saw Tina from the Fancy Face swatch this in a haul, which I'll leave her channel down below. Um, and I just thought the color was so pretty, so I went ahead and picked it up. And it comes in a little uh, pot, like so. There's four grams or 0.14 ounces of product in here, and I've I've worn this twice so far, and it's really, you would think that it's like a cream eyeshadow, but it, it almost feels like a um, really creamy pressed powdered eyeshadow. It feels drier than any type of a cream pot eyeshadow I've ever tried. Um, but nonetheless, it's um, quite pretty over the lid, which is why I bought, I purchased it. Uh, oh, the color. <laughs> I'm a little rusty. <laughs> this is the shade called Triton. Kind of like the Little Mermaid Triton. It's like a really pretty um, shiny taupey, taupey gray color. And I think there was three more uh, colors in this collection, but this is the one that I purchased. So that's Triton. Dior also came out with some new mono eyeshadows, and I purchased one of them in the shade 658 Cosmopolite. And these do come with your little velvet pouch. And here is the packaging. This color is absolutely stunning. This is like um, Tom Ford's Platinum Cream Eyeshadow in a powder form. It's... I will even go so far as to say this is slightly, I think it's a little bit prettier than Tom Ford's Platinum. Um, this does have some really tiny silver micro like shimmers in it, but on the lid it is absolutely stunning. I've worn it quite a few times thus far. And this is the only one that I've purchased and I would like to get my hands on the other one in this finish, but I haven't seen it on the websites. But So this is 658 Cosmopolite. A couple 
weeks ago I pre-ordered Dolce & Gabbana's The Sicilian Bronzer from their summer collection and it just came uh, two days ago. I haven't used the actual bronzer but uh, I bought this <laughs> because the packaging it's stunning. The packaging is really really pretty. This is the box and then the compact comes in one of your little velvet pouches. It says Dolce & Gabbana on there and then there is a little synthetic um, brush in there as well. Here is the compact that the bronzer comes in and on the back it says the Sicilian bronzer in sunshine number 30. It's almost like a, I call it like a peachy bronze. There's some really really fine shimmers in here. It almost makes the product kind of, um, I, I would say it's going to be like a satin finish. I haven't used this just yet so I'm not sure. Um, and then we'll put it right there. And then recently beauty.com was doing a 20% off like the entire website. So I purchased a couple things from there and one of those is the Bare Minerals uh, Ready Eyeshadow 4.0 and this is the Instant Attraction. The compact is gold and then here are the shades inside. I've actually got this one on the inner portion of my lid like right there and I've got this one packed over the rest of the lid. I didn't use these two shades in my eye lip today. However, um, these are quite chunky glitter shades and I kind of, I was kind of hoping that they would go on a little bit shinier. I mean, they are shiny and they're really pretty, but like when I compare the grittiness or the chunkiness of those two shadows to like that Dior Mono shadow that is just like boom and it's not chunky, but it's still more sparkly than these. I was like, hmm. <laughs> so that's kind of how I feel about it so far. This one is the only matte shade in the bunch, or I guess I would call it more like a satin finish. Where are those two? And then these bottom ones. This one's probably the most chunky out of all of them. So that is Bare Minerals The Instant Attraction. Two items that I was just going back and forth and back and forth on because they're, they're quite expensive products were these by Terry Sun Designer palettes. I just kept seeing the pictures all over Instagram and I originally when I first saw them they looked pretty but I wasn't like wowed by the skinnier strips of product um, until I had seen in a magazine they showed these palettes and they were like just swirl your brush in all three and then I was like well hey yeah <laughs> I can just you know swirl my brush in all three of the shades and it kind of is a bigger you know area I don't have to if I don't want to I don't have to try to concentrate on that skinny strip anyway I purchased these off of beauty.com as well so and I got 20% off of them so that kind of stung a little bit less because these are quite expensive products so I think I ended up paying 62 a piece for them and these do come in your little Velvet by Terry pouch as well. This one right here is the Sun Designer palette in number two light and tan vibes And this is the one that I have on my face today. I swirled my brush in this portion right here for a blush and then I swirled my brush in all three of these shades and used it as a bronzer. And the products themselves, they do kind of kick up some uh, powder when you put your brush in them, but they look really pretty on the skin and they blended quite nice as well. And this here kind of ended up being a little bit of a cooler toned bronzer for my skin, which I really, really liked. So that is the light and tan vibes. We'll give you some swatches here. So you can, you know, highlight um, with the lighter half, the blush, and then this color. But I just used them all together because I didn't know that. The little skinny strips, I was just like, eh. And then these tanner portions. And then the other one is the Sun Designer Palette number one in Tan and Flash Cruise. And this one has got more of a pow to it. I've used this one twice and I do this here, I just swirl them together again for a blush. Super pretty. So I'll go ahead and give you guys some swatches of this guy. I feel like these three colors here just like kind of scream summer blush. They are really pretty. The powders are quite soft though, so they do kick up product in the pan, but they do look pretty on the skin. And then this bronzer type half, and I plan on just using them like that, I guess, swirling my brush in all three of the colors on each portion. So that one is, where did I say it was? 
Tan in Flash Cruise from By Terry. So there's my little haul for the day. And if you're interested in seeing the cult stuff, you can hang tight and we'll get into that in a minute. And if not, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Pretty princess. What you doing, sweetie? <laughs> Catnapping. Apparently my dad is grilling. So I'm gonna go eat first <laughs> and then we'll go out to the pasture. <laughs> There he is, grilling. And this is where, this is where me and my mom like to sit to have some refreshments. Say hi, Dad. Hello. Oh, right there. Oakley? <laughs> It's not moving. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. It's cruiser. <laughs> He's extra special, that one. You got <laughs> gotta turn around now. This is my boyfriend William Tell Jacobs. He's going to East steak now because he just got back from chicken wells. Before we go do more horse stuff, we are going to put this little fence around this little bird bath. We're going to lay that paper down and then we're going to fill it with rocks because for some reason, no grass likes to grow here anyway. Some water in there. There, we made a bird bath. These are the little plants I planted the other day. That one, and that one. And we got those hanging baskets. That one. Don't be eating grass, Cruiser. His ma left her. <laughs> oh, there's his ma. <laughs> right there, that's that little baby's mom. And that little baby right there, that one's mine, and she's out of odds. The um, paint stud that I ride. And he's not a homozygous for the paint, so we got lucky and got a black and white filly out of my my black quarter horse mare, who's Dr. Kirk mare. So let's just make a little heart around this little baby. Make hearts around all the little babies. <laughs> you guys know Ticket, the big black gelding that I ride? That This is his mom. And that is her baby this year, and it's a black and white filly. And she's out of the homozygia stud, so different stud and she's the own daughter texas high dasher so hey there's two of my babies there's one baby a little oreo baby and there's another little baby and there's my mare there's my little friend my little sweet buns look at this little baby <laughs> oh this little beehive is so cute too they're all cute what you doing? You want to visit? Are you thinking about visiting? Oh, he's going to be my friend. Hi. Are you going to be my friend? Look at this guy's going to be my friend. Yes, little baby. You want to be my little friend? You going to bite my thumb? No biting you. He's got teeth in there. <laughs> Little baby, are you scared? Yes, you want to be my friend? Oh, look, I made a new friend. 
Nice little baby, yes. Oh, you're so precious. Got a new friend, almost got a new friend. There's my other little friend. Right here. I just made a new friend. That little black and white one just came up and wanted to be my friend. But this one here is my friend. This is another odds baby. I uh, like the odds baby. She's a solid. She's so cute. Yes, you are my friend. You are. You are my friend, aren't you? Yes, you're just a precious little buttons. Oh. What is that? What is that? What's that? What's that? There's her mom. You're so precious. Oh, you're gonna fuck, fuck up the lens. <laughs> oh, hey, really getting up in there. See your little buttons, you're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. <laughs> I'm fighting us, little baby. You're so cute. So precious. You're so precious. Her kids are running around like a little crazy colt. Holy. That's the guy Winnie and that's Odds. So he would be the dad to that little baby. I was just giving scratches to. Right there. That little baby, that's his dad, her dad. There. That's the first colt that was born. And that's two day old. old man Freddy and right there is odds like the odds that um stud I was telling you guys about and I will be riding him later and this is my two-year-old homozygous stud and there's war pony which he's gonna be being rode in just a little bit and then there's hot rod who I think my mom will ride See how it's done? Hey. <laughs> She's such a swell gal, Foxy. Sweetheart. She's like, take me for a ride. <laughs> 